coding made so what's up everybody and welcome to your third libgdx tutorial so if you recall in our last program what we did is we uh, wrote some text that said coding made easy but it appeared at the bottom it appeared at the bottom of the screen and we didn't really like that that much or I didn't like it at least and um, if you really want to do some game development um, in the future most times you're going to want to get used to this convention especially if you're doing say 2D or maybe even 3D in the future um, so how do we do this? Well we do this we're going to alternate our views using what we call an orthographic camera now you don't need to know what orthographic uh, means in order to operate it, this camera but Basically, it's a means of switching a 3D scene into a 2D scene. Um, simply put, 3D to 2D. Um, and um, since everything's run with OpenGL, which is a 3D API, we need to find a means to convert it to a 2D scene. And uh, that's what um, the orthographic camera is going to do. Um, so just like we've done before, we're going to say camera is equal to a new orthographic camera and we're going to use a method inside the camera class and if we look at this set to ortho we can see it says boolean y down um, float viewport width sorry and the viewport height so by default the y down is set to false and that's why in the y is the y coordinate is set to up so the further up you go up the screen then um, the higher the y value is but we want it the opposite way we want it that the farther down you go down the screen the screen the the higher the y value is so what we're going to do is we're going to set this to true and the viewport width in order to get it we're just going to make it called the gdx.graphics.getwidth and say gdx.graphics.getheight and that will get the, the width and the height that we set in our parameters in the, in the desktop parameters um, in main so we don't have to worry about it so the height within height we set here it will get it and place it there and uh, so what we have to do is we although we're not altering our camera's position it's a it's good practice to update the camera because if we do alter the position or alter anything about the camera we are going to want to update it or else we're not going to see any changes and we have to let the sprite bad actually know of the updates and know where to start drawing stuff on the screen and so we're just going to say sprite batch dot set projection matrix and camera dot combine and that will set it up for us so well let's run our program and, and see what we got So voila, we have it at the top of the screen, but we have one major problem. It's upside down. Now, why is it upside down? What libgdx did is, yeah, it switched it so that zero zero is at the top left corner, but what it did, did is that it flipped everything. So now the big hassle we have to do is that whenever we load in any images or any fonts or use anything, we have to reflip it back in the, um, in the Y coordinate. And so the bitmap fault has uh, the bitmap font sorry has a parameter where we can set the true and that will flip it. We say it's flipped and we set it to true. And if we run this again, voila, it is in the right um it's it's right, it's in the correct position and it's right side up. But another thing that if we notice, if we were to set this to full screen, as you notice, everything stretched and you can still see this coding made easy lingering in here. Now we're not going, uh, well I guess yeah, I guess we can look at both of these problems uh, by the end of this tutorial. So there's two major problems. So we're, we're going to solve the resizing problem. When we resize the window, put in full screen mode, it's not really being resized in the camera. We're not updating it. So we just we just have to put set to ortho, set that to true, and then set it to the new width and the new height. And when we run this program, and we resize the window, it stays the same size. But what's with this? Why why is this lingering there? Why uh why does it not disappear? Well, the problem is we're not clearing the window. What we have to do 
Um, in order to work with OpenGL, we have to do something what is known as double buffering. And so imagine we have two different screens, right? We have a screen that's shown and a screen that is not sc shown. So what you will be doing is you'll be drawing to the screen that's not shown and then it will transfer that to the screen that is shown. But we have to keep on clearing the screen that's not being shown so we can draw new stuff on it. We're just going to keep on overlapping each other and just um, drawing. It's just going to keep on drawing the same position. And so we don't actually want that. We actually want to clear the screen. So we're going to achieve this by uh, two simple commands. We're going to say gdxgl and we're going to say clear to color. And um, this one takes four parameters, but they're float parameters that are a ratio. So if we, are, if we were to look at, say, paint.net and we look at RGB values, we can enter a value between 0 and 255, right? And this is the color that we ultimately want to clear the screen to. But we're not, it's not ranging from 0 to 255. It's a ratio from 0 to 255. So if you wanted to clear the color to red, instead of putting 255, you would put 1.0. Now to achieve this, if you didn't know what ratio you wanted, say you wanted it to be like the value 220 or something like that. In order to get this float value, We'll just open up our calculator and we'll say 220 divided by, oh sorry, you guys can't even see that, divided by 255 and we get 0 0.86. So if we wanted for that for whatever reason, we could put it there or we could say 220 divided by 255. So that's how we will get the ratio of the number that we want to put. But right now we just want to, uh, we'll, we'll clear it to a, a blue color. Um, why not? And the alpha, um, the lower the alpha, the more faint the color is, but we'll just set it to one and um, like that. And so we're just going to make the last call to gdx.gl.gl um, clear and we're going to say gl10.gl color, gl underscore color underscore buffer bit. And it's just basically telling it how um, to clear the window basically or to actually I'm pretty sure it's to to give it instructions on how to clear the window um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this one more time as you can see uh, as you can see the backgrounds not like black like it was before it's kind of like a bluish color and if we were to put this in full screen mode we don't see the lingering thing um, like it was before uh, we just see the coding made easy in the top left corner so anyways, I'm going to end this tutor tutorial here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Feel free to like my fan page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and feel free to add me on Steam and BBM. So bye for now.